and we're back for another episode of Cities in Motion 2 Let's Play on Pittsburgh. I'm doing quite a lot of Pittsburgh um, episodes. I need to try and do New Scotland. I don't know if I'll do some before this one, this sub video gets uploaded or some after. I don't know. I need to start New Scotland, definitely. It might be done before this video, it might not be done, so don't, I don't guarantee it. But anyway, we're back with another Pittsburgh and we're continuing on. Uh, we built the foundations of another trolley bus line, which is quite a nice line. It starts around here, goes up there and goes into the middle of the city. So it kind of connects this side of the of the river to, to, to the business side here. Uh, and let's see if there's anyone... There's not a lot of people waiting at the, at the start now. Let's just... Let's just put this down to 120 because I I think this could be a busy a definitely a busy line. It could get to be to be a busy line. Let's go to 140 for that and increase the time bit. That's fine. And then night time we can do night time. Here we go. But now 150. There we go. 150. And let's. How many? How many does it say I need? It needs. I need eight vehicles. Let's. Uh, we definitely need a bigger vehicle for this. Uh, Pavlov Krushkova, maybe. And this Translink is pretty, pretty inefficient. Toyota Icarus could be, could be interesting. We could do the Toyota Icarus. I think that would be good. It's not really a massively long route, so I wouldn't use the Sternberger. I think the Icarus, Toyoka Icarus is pretty good. So that's by about let's buy about nine, and that should be fine there. And uh, let's turn that off, turn the marker off, and then there we go. We built our another another trolley bus route. We've added a, a tram station here so that the trolley bus can like interchange with it. So. Definitely good. Let's see if there's any. There's not many people waiting for it yet, but I'm hoping. I'm hoping get yeah, there's already people waiting there. People waiting here. Definitely in this business side of town, people will definitely be waiting for that. So there we go. Our first trolley bus line coming out for our second bus, a trolley bus route. Could just like see it stopping here. Big bank. Lol. <sighs> this game is really pretty. Imagine SimCity this big. Yeah. We can just hope. Oh, look at that. In unison, a tram and a trolley bus. They pretty much look the same. <laughs> right. Let's zoom back up. So far, not many people waiting on this side, but. Let's give it a bit more longer. Let's see what this guy wants. My name is Oscar Mago, and I run a local bakery. In fact, my little shop is right nearby, and I was wondering if you'll be able to add a line there. Many of my employers don't own their own car, and they rely on public transport. Okay, but where is it? What's this? Oh, no, this is the thing I'm tagged on. Where's your bakery? Oh. Oh, um... This is your bakery? You know how I liked, I don't know, I liked in the first game that at least in these kind of locations where people worked and whatever for missions, the actual place where they worked was actually like, like say if they worked in a bakery, there was actually like a little bakery or whatever, but in this game they just, it's this is just a commercial building and it doesn't even look like a bakery. But I guess we can imagine it is a bakery. <laughs> oh, actually, to be honest, I'm having a little idea here. Why don't we build? Oh, hello. This is a tram thing set up for me. Oh my god, there's a tram thing set up for me. I could do this. Ah, oh, I never see. I've never seen this. I've actually never seen this. Oh my god, this is the first time I've seen it. Seeing it, I could. I could totally make a tram route here. Definitely. 
But this is more of a, a linking tram, isn't it? I've never seen that little thing added here. Let's explore the map. I've not actually in detail looked at this map. I definitely know there's a me laid out metro tracks like New Scotland City, which I'm going to be doing a let's play of. But, um, yeah. It's definitely an interesting map. And that isn't... Uh, where is it? I've lost it. See how, see how big this place is. It's so easy to just get lost in it. But where was I? I think I could possibly make a tram. That, um... I wouldn't supposedly make this tram straight away. But definitely, this is a really clever little link. This is actually a really nice little link. I've never actually seen it. And the first time I've actually seen it. This is definitely a good link. And... I could possibly make a tram that goes along here. Why not? Oh. This is interesting. Okay, this is fairly interesting. This is fairly interesting me now. So I could make a tram that technically... Go wow, this would be a really long tram. Um... This would be a really, really, really long tram. I'm thinking of something like having a tram along here that uh, goes... Okay, my idea is I have a long tram that goes along from here all the way along this like path, all the way to where it begins here. Then I would have a tram that would link that would link uh, this these two trams. Oh, this could be. This could be an idea actually, because I can have a tram that goes. A tram that goes round. Where, where does? See, this is what I don't like. See this, this one. It just links to. Mm, I don't like that. Oh, you know what? I think. And have a linking tram that links this one. Uh, to here, wherever this one stops, up there, up there, it would link. It would come down this way, and uh, it would, like, this would be its buffer. So basically, it would be able to stop with the two other trams that basically link up. If you know what I mean, I think that could work. Let's just pause the game now. Let's pause the game. Let's um. Let's lay some tracks. I'm getting, I'm getting excited here because this is a, this is a cool little. Um... Oh no! Wait, can I? Oh, there we go. Yeah. This is really exciting. So let's, because what I like about custom-made maps is people um, add actual things from real cities, and it's just, it's really cool. I really, I really like it. So where, where would this go? No, I'm just. I'm gonna stick to my idea. Just make a long line along this thing, and then have. Um, and have oh. Okay. No. Then then have uh, some uh, shuttle links. And then here. We we'll just add this to that. We'll just have it like that. I think that's oh, that is going to be so epic when it's built. Definitely. And then basically, we could just even go. Oh, sorry. Let me go into doubles. Go around here, and this is where I can start building maybe some bus links to actually link up to this uh, to this tram. the hell? Uh, some bits. Oh wow. Oh wow, it, it got extended. And then how would I do this here? Could possibly build a little... Um, or I could just build the actual depot here. There we go. And then just link it up to here. 
So that this would be the first line. This is what I'm thinking. This would be the first line that would go all the way to here. Then the next line would be a, a kind of link, uh, a, a link line that would uh, that would go along this route. We can even link up this just to make it look nice. So we can we can link that with that. And then this one links. Oh my god, I can't see underneath. Okay. Connected, and then basically, this one gets linked to there. There's nothing down there, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna link anything there. And then it just it links to this one. Oh, that's cool. I might need to take out another loan. <laughs> this is definitely a big project. What I'm doing here, and I pause the game because I don't want money to be going up and down. Wait, I want to see what I can build here, and then I'll, you know. <sighs> okay. Okay. Calm down, Samuel. And then I'll have, like, a little linking one that goes up and down here. Oh, that'd be so cool. Right, let's build some tram stops. Build a, let's be nice and let's build a, a tram stop right outside your bakery. Then build a uh, tram stop right outside here for the metro. Build one. Build one here. What are those? Those are tanker things. Okay. And then build. How far is it? Oh, wow. It's cool. Quite a long way. It's definitely going to be a big line. Don't get me wrong, it's going to be a huge. Oh wow, did I build two on this side? Wow. There we go, build two for there. Then I'll build two. Build two here. And then I think finally, I don't think we need to build anything through here. We can build. The, the depot kind of let's see how this would work it'd be better to build one here okay let's build two here like that and see how that works because I need one, I need one for the, uh, for this kind of, um, you know, I need one for this kind of linky one, if you know what I mean. And then if we want to be extra, we can build, uh, okay, where would I build this one? Build two here. I'll build two here. This might cause some traffic here for these uh, existing tram lines because they'll have to share. But I'm going to build one here for this kind of. Um, yeah, why not? Does it even link up? Actually, forget. It. I'm not going to. I'm going to delete those. Those ones were a bad idea. I don't want. I don't want it to cause traffic. But okay, there we go. We built the kind of. And then if we want to just build, because I'm building three tram lines here at one go. Then we can build we can build one Build one there, there we go. This is kind of like a kind of leisure route, it isn't really much of a uh, a big route. So uh Right, we have we can we can already start building the first line, which would um, would look something like this. So let's create a new one. Uh, let's call this the uh, coastal 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 line. And uh, let's uh, add some stops.
I know the the bus stops, uh, the tram stops are quite in, uh, quite far from each other, but you know, I was I only put them at locations where there's quite a lot of people. Like say here, there's a skyscape or something like that, and then here there's like in between and stuff, houses in between. And then let me think about this. What I want? What I want? What I want? It to stop there or to stop there? Hmm. Think there, yeah. And then we go all the way back. I want to see how many trams does it it would recommend for uh, just this, just this, just this line on the default timetable. Five. That's not bad. We'll reduce it to about 125 for each tram. Increase the time. Weekends will decrease the time to about 40. I think that's good. And night times will increase it to about 145 and increase the timings. There we go. How many is it? I need six. That's not too bad. And let's buy, we need a bit of a bigger tram, and I think I'm going to go for the Scandi Tram Nova. I don't want anything too big yet, because it's not getting to a point where there's loads of people, so I'm just going to buy, how many sixes? I'll buy seven. And there we go, that's that, that's that line done. Now, where, what, what depot am I going to use for this kind of linked up route? Hmm. Wait, what is... This is tram line one. Oh, could I possibly... How many How many do I have right now? I have... Out of eight. I have eight vehicles in now. I can I can just basically use this depot. I can use this depot, so I can do... Uh, this, this tram would be called... Uh, link 2. We'll just call it Link 2. I don't know. Uh, let's add the stops. We'll just, we'll just use this depot. And see how that works out. And we'll just use the same trams because the I think the Livingston SC would be great for this kind of one. And then we go all the way back. Back. Wait, did I did I add this stop? Add no wait. Okay, I need to turn off uh, this one. Yeah, I added it. Cool. Let me go back here. Back here and then back here. And for now, I'm just going to leave it on the default one. This one I'm going to leave on the default one because um, I want to see how it reacts to the... to the If it, if it needs uh, more, I'm just going to buy some more living stones. I'll buy about five more. I think that'd be cool. Okay, so that route's done, so we've be, built two routes, and now let's build, I want to build this one. And this one, I'm actually going to build a small depot, there's no, e there's no even point, there's no, there's no point of even building a, a there's no point of building a big depot for this, because this is just going to be a, literally a one line route. There we go. And then basically this one is a... Uh, I'll call it the... Leisure Hill... Le um, hill Top Ride. I'll call it the Hill Top Ride. So this is kind of like a... Kind of me a little fun little line. Even though it, it was built into the map. So I'm just going to use it anyway. Hopefully this is how it would have looked. So we go there. We go there. And then we go all the way up here. And then we stop there and then we come all the way back down and we link it to there where all the other trams will be and then go back to the depot and we'll just use the same uh, we'll use the same we'll use the same um, default time and let's buy this one we can literally buy the smallest one there is we'll just buy it. 
We'll buy three to be nice. And there we go. Uh, we built three new tram lines. One long one, uh, line three, coast the coastal line that goes along there. We built a link one that starts from here where the other two tram lines are and comes around, joins it here, and it joins this little hilltop one we made. I think that's pretty cool. Let's, let's play it. And let's fast forward it a bit and see how this line reacts to the actual network. So see already people are... People are gathering here. I like this. I like this a lot. And that's good. You see, that's good. This is what I like. This hilltop line is actually collecting people from the top. There's people waiting there from the top that want to... That is brilliant. That is really, really good. That is really, really good. I'm really impressed with that. And then people will now just get... That is really good. I'm really happy about that. And then here comes the Novo. That is really nice. I'm really happy with that. I think this was a pretty good success. This little hilltop line and... Um, that's good. That's actually good. And then... Yeah, there's people on this line that are now... Uh, yeah, that's good. I think that's, I think that's a pretty much a good success. And let's see how our how our trolley bus line is doing. If I can find it, it's not doing. Yeah, it's, it, oh wonderful! Truly, this will help my business. Thank you. We get free extra money, so you know it's good. Why is zero percent completed? I've done that apartment building. I've done the uh, tram. I mean, I've done the metro. I've built the metro to it. So I don't know. He's smoking weed, so we. <laughs> The metro's doing really well good. I'm actually really happy with this uh, with this setup. Really, really happy. Yeah, the coastal line picks up passengers from there, and then, oh, excellent! Look at that. That is great. And already the me the metro is also um, contributing to uh, to this. Oh, that is really good. I think before we end this episode, we're going to look at the ticket prices as it is alerting me that they are a little too, too generous. I'm actually really happy that this little hilltop line is actually feeding the, the tram network. I'm actually genuinely happy for that. I'm genuinely, really genuinely happy for that. And then even this line, even this linked up line is actually working out really well for it. Oh, that is really nice. I'm really happy for that. I think that's really good. I think that is a success. A really good success. And I think also, yeah, I think also this trolley bus route is actually doing pretty well as well. Excellent. I think those two lines were definitely good country. Let's have a look at the... Oh, that is really good. That's actually really, really good. And even even the bus lines, even though, like, they're going kind of down as well because they're getting involved in the action with the trolley buses, the metros, and whatever. The metro is making a lot of money. And I could consider and take out another loan and actually, um, you know, build it up a bit more. But I think now I can mess about a bit with buses. I can really make some short routes that link the buses to the trams and whatever to, to get the buses. Because I really want to get the buses into profit. I don't want to leave them um, uh, isolated or whatever. I want to I want to get them included into the club. And we could even possibly get some water buses up in here. You know, you know, you know what I mean. See how that works out. But I'm actually really genuinely happy. I'm actually really happy for this little, um, this little, uh, this little town route. I mean, this little hilltop route. I'm genuinely really happy about it. That it's actually a, a success that people actually from up here take the tram down, and people from here take the tram up. Generally, that I'm really happy about that. These three lines are probably a really good success. They're busy. Uh, the coastal one's busy around this area. The 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 link uh, the link one is definitely doing its job as well. By um, yeah, by by bringing uh, customers from 
from here from the other two lines it's using the line one's depot because they both use the same tram and yeah i think i think that's overall a good success so far uh, as i said the buses is the thing i really want to look into and i think but uh, let's just look at the ticket oh wow the ticket prices are so ridiculously ridiculously low i'll definitely increase them uh, there we go that's good increase that a bit oh wow the train tickets are really really good wow wow i like to just leave them in white because then it just it just changes but i don't want to leave them in green even though my uh, uh reputation isn't that good it's not like it's bad it's just like oh it's meh let's just increase wow increase that increase wow let's do it to 115 oh we need to increase this one when you increase that to 125, I'll do that. 450, and then... But we'll... I, I definitely want to work on zoning. That is one thing I really want to work on in the future. Once we build up a network, we can start zoning some stuff and really working into the prices and, and trying to maximize our profit. Even though now we're on a really... We're, we, are, we are in such debt, but we're definitely... We're definitely climb out. We'll definitely be soon climbing out of it, like, in the future. Because if... Let's just upgrade that a little bit. Uh, if if we're going to be making a profit like this, like already the, the metro is making me a huge amount of profit, the uh, tram and trolley buses are, and if I create more of them, they're just going to keep making me more profit. And even the bus is coming down slowly but surely, and if I start making little uh, shuttle buses from like, say, uh, uh, like... Uh, D different uh, different places or whatever to link up different lines then the buses will start to make profit so overall if i can make all of them a profit then then the debt will be will just get paid by itself and that's why i um when um when i take out a loan i just do it to repay it by one week and then basically it just feeds uh, takes off my money bit by bit but not like in chunks not huge chunks but definitely now i'm in in a huge huge debt that is definitely taking that that is definitely taking um into account there that but what i'm saying sorry i'm getting muddled up or whatever but anyway i'm in, in debt but i'm definitely making a profit overall so definitely this debt could get wiped soon yeah i think it, i think it could get wiped soon how is it? Yeah, I'm thinking because I'm making an income of thirty-one thousand. Expenses is two hundred forty-six, but that's only due to the payments. If you actually look at the, if you actually look at the interest inspectors and that, uh, and for, and for the whole price of uh, maintenance and stuff, I'm making a profit. I'm making a profit thirty-two thousand, and the actual inspectors and that and all of the expenses and stuff say like from the buses and stuff don't even they probably add up to something like 20,000 or or even less than that so I'm definitely making a profit of something about like 10,000 or 15,000 and basically right now I'm just paying off my uh, my debt and I think I think I'm gonna let the game run a bit like this and then for the next episode hopefully it, I don't want to bring you I don't want to get to the next episode and I'm basically um uh, I'm I'm basically still in debt because I don't want to keep taking out loans and be always in debt. I want to clear the debt and then take out another loan, if you know what I mean. So definitely, I think now uh, until the next episode of Pittsburgh, I'm gonna probably play it by play, play it by myself, not do too many changes, and just let the debt roll off instead of keeping uh, keeping you guys watching me be in debt. There's no real point. But as you can see, we can just pan around quickly. Everything is going really nicely. The, t the tram lines I've added are really good. They're really effective. And uh, I definitely can't wait to bring you the next episode when I'm uh, when I'm hopefully near debt free. Yeah, basically everything's working well. The metro is working well. Everything's working well. Let's just quickly have a look what this guy uh, was woman wants. Hello, Rudolph's assistant. Uh, I'm Rud uh, Rudolph's assistant. Turns out we need a shoot extra film. Blah 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 blah. blah. Build one tram line to the hypermarket. Uh, build one tram line to the sorry hypermarket maybe hypermarket here maybe and a high school hmm. I'll accept it but 
we'll see we'll see what we're gonna do with that anyway uh guys i hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, the let's play on pittsburgh uh things are definitely rolling along we're definitely making a profit but we just need to repay the debt for our loans and uh hopefully by the next episode i should be near to completion of that i'll let the game run on so i don't come back in the next episode i'm still in debt because it's kind of boring to me watch me in debt and i won't be able to build anything because i don't really i don't really, really want to take out more loans because i already have two loans to pay off as you can see anyway thank you guys for watching um subscribe if you want to keep up to date with my videos like and favorite if you want to and comment anything i'll definitely reply to all comments that are uh, left in the comment section below i'll see you in the next episode guys Cheers, bye-bye.